to my channel. I hope you've all been well. Sorry I had a week off last week. We've literally all been sick for the whole week. So it's been a little bit crap. <laughs> I'm getting cabin fever because I literally haven't left the house all week. Anyway, so today's Friday and I'm actually off to Sydney tonight because Mel Watts has her very first event, which I'm a speaker for, which I'm really excited about. So I was going to take the girls to the PARK, um, but it's raining, so that's not going to happen now. So yeah, we're going to go to the shops, have a look around, have some lunch and just have a pretty chill day. I don't leave for Sydney till tonight. I'm catching a train at about like 6, about 6.30. What have you got, Bob? And Harper's toilet training. Which is lots of fun, isn't it? I is a school. Mommy, you hug us, Mama. Oh. Mommy, Mommy, you hug us, Mama. Yeah, I'm your mommy. Very good. <laughs> so. Mama, you Willow's mommy. I am Willow's mommy, yes. Mama, you hug us, Mama and Daddy. Willow's Yeah, you both got the same mom and dad. Isn't that cool? Mm. I love three year olds. I see that. It's so good just to get out of the house. I don't know how I haven't left the house in a week. It just kind of reminds me of back when the, um, the kids were newborns and you know, you're kind of stuck inside, you're breastfeeding. And I felt like with me, especially because I went through postnatal depression, I had to force myself to get out of the house. Even if I really just didn't even feel like it, I felt like, you know, getting up in the morning, opening all the blinds, popping on some music, putting on a little bit of makeup just to make yourself feel a bit more human, um, really helped me. So I just got this car mount for the camera. So now I can vlog in the car, which is pretty cool. Really? It's pretty crazy when you're a parent. So it's like freezing cold today. So of course they're all rubbed up and I'm in a t-shirt and thongs. Because you just forget about yourself completely. So now I'm gonna freeze my ass off today. Why is everyone to come out today? Everyone needs to go home and just let me shop. That'd be great. Get me out. Those people that love driving, I actually don't enjoy it. I just want to get to where I need to go. You know, some people just love driving. That's not me. I got one. Yes. Got it. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to go shopping? One down. So Ryan's not home till later. Um, Harper's having quiet time on the couch now and I'm just gonna get some work done while the girls cry for a little while. <laughs> just had a shower, I've got my suitcase packed and I'm ready to go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. 
Hi, Georgia. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is amazing. Hi, I know it's massive. Oh my god. Hello. Totally. It's, huge. it's like the most insane salon I've ever seen in my life. going to do my makeup I've got the perfect little setup here so these are my go-to makeup palettes this is the Kylie I think this one's called the burgundy palette yeah desert dusk palette which is really pretty I love that one and then there's the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette so these are my go-to ones and then this is my makeup case which I love I'll give you the link below but it keeps everything in place so yeah, it just keeps everything all organized. My hair and makeup's all done and now Zoe is coming over. Zoe's creating her own YouTube series and this one oh, Sarah's like flushing in the background. Oh, <laughs> um, so this series is on influencers. So she's coming around to interview me, which will be really exciting, and taking some footage from today of me speaking and stuff. So that'll be really good. But um yeah, I'm all ready. I've pretty much gotta get dressed now and then head off. I'm getting a bit nervous, but um I'm trying not to think about it. This is Steph. She is everything organisational. Uh, those colours she wears pretty much her whole entire life. It's <laughs> her uniform. In motherhood, you're so out of control of so many aspects. Whereas when I had opened my pantry and I just started to go have a cry in there, at least it looks nice. <laughs> I have a good pantry, so I yeah, get that. It's such a good place yeah. to cry. And some with anxiety, it's so hard to feel out of control. And that was something I really had to come to terms with after Harper because. I cannot not be in control with anxiety. It's, it's, it's terrifying. So I kind of discovered this organized, organizing thing and it just, it makes me so happy. It just makes me feel calm and it's not about having the perfect pantry. It's like just not feeling like you're completely out of control of your life and not feeling like you're a slave. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I get that. Um, so we just got back to the room after the event. It was so much fun. Um, Everyone on the panel was just really, you know, chilled out, which is exactly what I like. And yeah, we had a really good time. <laughs> We're gonna have some drinks and dinner and see where the night takes us. Hopefully not to hangover town, that's for sure. This morning, it was like so foggy, like you couldn't see anything. It's kind of lifted now though. But um, yeah, it was, it was so foggy. I think we're just going to walk back to the train station and have some food. Lucky Ash cleaned our room up. Thanks, babe. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> My wife, it never ends up it. I'm actually really messy in the hotel. No, so if I, seriously, if I had, we need drawers to actually put. Yeah, the there's no drawers in here, so there's a shit organized. everywhere. It's Steph, not. the hotel is not Steph. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want carbs. <laughs> Guys. Yeah, I miss Harper and Willow so much. And who? And Daddy, yeah. And Lily. Lily's gross. <laughs>